Okay, so I wanted to do this video. I actually recorded another Pirates of the Caribbean video that, that probably went up a while ago from when you guys are seeing this one, and I got pretty heated in it. And I thought, well, you know what? Why not turn it into a rant, or why not make that kind of separate? And so this isn't going to be you know, me just yelling just for the sake of yelling. I love Pirates more than I think quite a lot of people. I, I don't like saying, like, oh, I'm the number one fan, or you're the number no you know, It's like we're, we're all big fans, or maybe we're all fans, maybe we're not. But I pride myself quite a bit on knowing a a lot about pirates the lore the movies making of uh you know just i don't know remember just remembering them just being a passionate fan and all of that stuff you know obviously a lot more to it and I was thinking, and I do think this quite often, and I don't like to go down the rabbit hole too much because it gets me extremely angry and, and, and more or less frustrated. You know, anger, sadness, depression, like those are all definitely things that uh, can occur and, you know, in this, in the, these symptoms can happen. But no, I think more than anything is just frustration. You have, in my opinion, an incredibly you know, great franchise. And uh, obviously, like I'm talking to the ones that if you don't like pirates, you don't like Johnny Depp as Jack or, you know, whatever, obviously these things aren't going to apply, but I adore Pirates of the Caribbean. I think three is the best one actually by a long, long mile. I know that's not the most popular opinion, but especially that first, you know, the trilogy is incredible, absolutely incredible. And there's no doubt there's been a lot of bumps in the road since then. You could very easily make the argument that should they have stopped after three and just kind of left this franchise as just really this masterpiece in how you do something like this. And the argument gets stronger by the day because it's like, well, not only do you mess up four and five, five I liked, I just don't think it's nearly as good as one through three. You you, you know, you mess up here and there and you have all of this length in between movies and you have Disney trying to milk the franchise, but also not milking the franchise. Then you have the Johnny Depp stuff. And you just, just so, then you have reboots and spinoffs and, and all this absolute garbage and it just becomes like like you maybe should have ended it, you know, after the third one. But really, in that quick little summary, that was everything. You know what I mean? What's interesting is when I say like Disney, you know, they don't know this franchise. They, I, I personally think like they hate it, even though it makes just so much money for them. It's actually incredible because, as I've said before, I mean, you look at these movies and you think a money-hungry company like Disney would get it. And yet, for some reason, they don't. You look at it and you're like, okay. You had one, two, and three. I mean, they did so much money, so especially like adjusted, uh, adjusted for inflation. I mean, it's insane. You had four, which really did well, and four is not a good. You know, I th again, I think if you talk to people, you look around. I do think four. You don't have to hate four, but I think four is commonly looked at as the weakest one. Maybe five, but I, I really think four is so much worse than five. But you know, you had four not being good, and four was four years after three in terms of when they released, and it made a boatload. In fact, it made more than three, even though again uh, adjusted for inflation, maybe it evens out. But you know, you have that situation. Then. You had six years in between, you know, uh, four and five. And in that time, you know, six years for a franchise that at the time, in terms of like what they want to do, I mean, it's, it's Johnny Depp, it's Jack Sparrow. That's the franchise. Now, if you want to make things that are outside the franchise, like spinoffs, that's fine. But you, you know, if you want to keep doing the Johnny Depp stuff, or eventually if you want to end the Johnny Depp stuff, you need to have it be coherent. You need it to be, you know, kind of straight lined and it needs, you know, beginning, middle, end. Okay. And they really took none of that <laughs> into consideration with this stuff because they let this uh, franchise sit for six years and then obviously it comes back and it just, again, it's not that great. Maybe, and maybe some people think it's better than, and I think it's actually, I probably am on the high end of, of my opinion on five compared to the rest of the internet. But I think five was pretty solid. But you know, you had five come out and five definitely did not make the most money in the world, but it still almost hit 800 million. So I want people to think about this, and I want Disney to think about this. You had uh, three come out in 2007, and that was the last what I think would be regarded as like extremely good pirates film. In the next 10 years, you had two movies come out. Not very good, again, for wanting to continue like a Jack Sparrow kind of thing, right? Two films in 10 years. The fourth film was not good, word of mouth was not good, and it just did not work. You had even longer of a time in between, and then five also wasn't very impressive, but it still murdered in terms of sales. So you'd think Disney would want to milk this franchise for as much as there is in it, and and keep going. You know what I mean? Now, the Johnny Depp stuff obviously, you know, impacts it. And I guess really what Disney is most, 
uh, I guess, uh, like, why they're be- being put up here in-, in terms of, like, why I'm upset at them is mainly the length of time in between these films, them seemingly not realizing what they have, their general, I guess, lack of care. Now, like, you know, ultimately the movie's not being good. That's a Jerry Bruckheimer problem. Uh, that's a directing problem for the, you know, the directors of these films. You could even, like, you know, even I have called Johnny Depp out that I just don't think he was good enough in five. Now, what could he have done with that script? Did they direct him to act like that with his character? How much of that was his, you know, what his input versus theirs? Like, there are other reasons, although I'd like to put most of the blame on Disney, especially now, right? It's hard to get around the elephant in the room of the Johnny Depp stuff. I know the easy cop-out answer to all of this stuff could be, well, Alex, they just simply can't do anything else because maybe they're waiting on him, you know, to have this court stuff resolved one way or the other, or, you know, some other reason but has to do with Giant Up. Again, though, I would put that pure ineptitude on them. They, and as I've said, I guess it still all does come back to Giant Up, but ultimately, this is a franchise that can survive without him, okay? Now, and as I've said many, many times, I still think you need to do him justice. I don't want him as a cameo. I don't want you to skip, like, make Pirate 6 without him, but then make Pirate 7 with him. Like, all that stuff is complete garbage. Get him in the movie. Make him a good character again, okay? Because you didn't... Re- 4, I actually thought he was a really good character. It's just they put too much on him to do, okay? Make him good again. Finish off his story in the best way you can. Maybe keep him around for cameos going forward if he wants to and if you want to, but then you can move on. Or you could even move on in the... In, like in between these things and then just as long as we know that that stuff is happening you could do this another issue is again never really realizing what pirates could be or is i mean this movie franchise makes so much money and i really don't think it's all like a hundred percent tied to jack sparrow i really don't i think you could and i've i've pitched this multiple times do a disney plus show you're bringing back like high school musical you're doing like what turner and hooch or whatever the heck that show you know whatever that's called with josh peck like you're bringing back these but you're not gonna try pirates who on an off day who after you know a movie before not being good and it itself not being that good 10 years in between the last good one you know just the, the whole giant up stuff going on in the background all of this stuff and it still makes 800 million on a bad day you're gonna like just ignore it you're gonna ignore the franchise and you're not gonna like try to expand it see that's their issue that's why i really have no sympathy for what they're trying to do now is like you could have been doing this all along and not trying to for it because right now so i guess also the the main crux of this issue is what they're doing in the present so here's the deal they misread the room and boy oh boy did they misread the room big time okay they for whatever reason instead of doing a spin-off thing 10 years ago instead of doing movies that are also spin or like a tv show or whatever instead of trying that when it would have been a lot more popular than it would be now it still would be very popular now in the right circumstance but instead of doing that back then what they're doing is they're falling back on those things right or they're doing you know certain identity politics and stuff and saying well you know we're kind of tied up with johnny right now and let's be honest we all hate him up here in the mouse house so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna take margot robbie we're gonna do a female spin-off pirates movie she's gonna say that it's never been done before and there's you know you want to see a strong female character a strong female pirate which is maybe the most idiotic thing you could ever say in your life because if you watched any of the movies the the answer to that is no she's never watched them you can bet your bottom dollar the director or writer has never watched these movies it's going to be a pure disaster it's just what it's going to be i am normally an optimistic person even as hollywood in my opinion does burn to the ground around us and we just see franchise after franchise just becoming horrible just all of them are being ruined even though i do generally have that you know sentiment I am an optimistic person. I still give things loads of chances. I'll be honest, and I've said this before, like I'll watch them, not paying for it. I'll watch them, but I have zero hope that they will do this right. I've accepted that they already don't know what they're doing, and so to then put a spin on it further, just they they have no clue. And again, this maybe would have come off better if they did it back then. But what they're doing now is saying, well, Now we know you want Johnny Depp. We know it. We know you want Pirate 6. What we'll do instead 
is give you a pirate six, but without Johnny Depp, because that's what you really want. Then what we'll, we'll give you is we're still not going to finish his story. We're going to do a female, a full female spinoff movie, which will definitely work, especially how these things normally pan out. Because as we know, every single time there's been a race or gender swap in Hollywood, the movies normally break records like on a weekly basis. We all we all know this, don't we? Oh wait, I forgot. They don't. That's the thing. So they, they I mean they just completely ignore these stupid I mean these these people are I don't know. I don't ever expect to get anything from Disney in like a Pirates of the Caribbean way or Star Wars or Marvel. So I really don't have problems. If they, I, I hope people see this, I'm not like naive enough to think like the heads of these companies watch these these stupid videos. But you know that's it's just so frustrating. It is. It's a franchise that I love so much, and they decided to keep it around, which I do think. Well, I guess if you finish his story in a Pirate Six, then it maybe was worth it. But you know at the time I thought it was fine. I thought it was worth it. Obviously, it makes you money. I understand that, right? You're going to want to keep it around. And you do it, but you don't. I guess even from Pirates 3 to 4, it was fine because it was only four years. Like, that's a reasonable for a trilogy. And then a lot of them didn't want to come back, right? And you're like, well, okay. It's like, I, I understand that. None of that's wrong. Then 4 was a bad product. And but like at the same time, like it made a lot of money. What for, firstly, what shouldn't have happened is a six year gap in between four and five. You needed to have made that two or three years. That's that at, at the end of the day, I'll always think that's one of the worst ideas they ever did. And one of the things that hurt them the most is do I think five still would have made less than four? Probably. But I don't think it would have done as bad as they say it did or they think it did if they would have done it just a few years, like two or like film it two years after four comes out. I don't even they were scared because of the quality. I mean, none of these movies have been critical darlings. It's the fans that like these films, not the not, do you think people at New York Times. Do we really think they care or do we actually do we care about them in any way? No, they could literally disappear off the face of the earth tomorrow. Every movie critic that's reviewed Pirates of the Caribbean and given a bad score, they could disappear tomorrow and nothing would happen. Not a single thing would happen. OK, the world actually maybe would be a better place. Right. So that's. Like, you could have done that. You could have easily done that. You could have worked on building the franchise out. Now, yes, Jerry Bruckheimer was always of the camp that this is not like a TV thing. This is a movie thing. Then make spinoff movies. Do it. Make prequels. Like, you can do different things. You could have been ahead of the curve in that way. They're ahead of the curve in so many departments in the past even in like pirates one through three they were ahead of the curve in so many different ways they made one of if not the best villain in any movie ever easily supernatural right and davy jones like they were ahead so well and they just collapsed and again that's director's faults that's writer's faults that's jerry bruckheimer's fault that's also majorly disney's fault as well and especially now just the mishandling of it it's just being mishandled i mean you know, it's easy to say, like, give it to me, and like, I'd, fi or like, not even me, like, you know, anybody could say, like, well, give it to me, I could have done better. I really think if even 2017, after five comes out, you give it to me, or you give it to like a group of pirates, die hard fans that know the franchise, you give it to them, right? Maybe with some help, you have some finance people, or whatever, but you give it to them, I think this could have worked out so much better. Obviously, the Johnny Depp stuff has made it more difficult. And I've talked about the Johnny Depp stuff a thousand times, right? You, he should not have been fired. This should not be an issue. If you're going to fire him, you better well fire Amber Heard. And if you're not going to fire her, which I don't even want you to fire her, if you're not going to fire her, leave him alone too. This should, this should not have resulted. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody's going to jail because of these court cases. I know that, get, that gets off topic, but it's such an important thing I think people literally just forget about. Nobody's going to jail for this. Nobody ever was going to go to jail for this. Why do you deserve, especially if maybe maybe they are uh, guilty, but they say that they feel sorry or they truly feel it in their heart and they try to do better over time, which I do think is possible. It's called forgiveness. It's called, I don't know, just things that don't exist, I guess, in the world anymore. How come they need, to, why do they need to be fired from their entire job? Like, do you want them to be homeless? Is that that's your goal, right? It's probably kick them in the face, put them on the side of the road. That's what these cancel culture people do. Now, it's not even cancel culture. It's literally, I don't know. Well, I actually know it kind of is. It, it really is. It's, it's Disney bowing down to what they thought people online, which is one. Uh, it's probably going to go down as one of the biggest mistakes they've ever made in their entire history, at least in this kind of stretch, right, is they really fired him because he looks bad, I guess, in, in, in court, but nobody ground level that supports these movies actually even cared whether he did it or didn't or they thought there was mistreatment or that amber was also guilty nobody cares 
Nobody. I mean, is that unfair to say? Is that mean to say? Maybe. Maybe it's mean, but it's it's true. It's the truth. So they made a decision. You know, Warner Bros. made a decision to fire him from Grindelwald. They did it based off of what? They thought they looked bad by by who? Their their, their own committees? Nobody cares about these losers. They're, they're, they're Nobody. The only thing they have is money. Now, I guess control, but nobody cares. So that, to me, is also one of... It's hard to talk about Disney's mishandling of pirates if you don't also talk about their mishandling of Giant Up. I assume if none of this stuff happened, they would have tried to get six out very quickly. All right, five comes out. Nothing of this behind-the-scenes stuff is going on. I assume five comes out, and they try to say, okay, by 2020, 2021, like right now, we're going to do the sixth movie, the conclusion to the Jack Sparrow, you know, saga. We're going to say goodbye to him and, you know, and we're going to move on from there. And, you know, I guess behind the scenes, probably like we just want to be done with the guy or whatever. And you know what? That's fine, because as long as you you, you get that thing, obviously, this stuff ha- has made it harder, but it really hasn't made it harder. The general picture is still there. People don't want the Margot Robbie movie. They don't. And they will. They'll show you they don't. People don't want Pirate 6, this movie that they're working on, that they've been working on for like three years without Johnny Depp, which if it happens, good luck to them, right? God bless their souls because they're going to be in a lot of trouble. People don't want it. And and they, I think they know that. Maybe that's why they don't talk about these things all that often, right? We've really heard next to nothing on these films. And maybe that's why, because they're terrified of the backlash they're going to get because they know this is not what anybody wants. And for some reason, but I guess that's the, but that's the line, right? Because they know that, but they're not willing to take just one more step forward and say, we understand it, and you know what? We're going to do something about it. We're going to, instead, I guess they are doing that, and they're saying, get over it. That's the that's the step they've taken. They've said, we know you don't want this. We know it's not going to work out. In fact, we'll kill the franchise. This will ultimately end up killing pirates forever, or at least for like the next 10 or so years, but we're going to do it anyway. That's what they've decided, instead of just using common sense, but we know they don't do that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Any thoughts, any additions to what I said? Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I can definitely do more of these. I'm sure I will do more of these as Pirate 6 info comes out, the Margot Robbie movie comes out. I'm sure I'll talk about it more. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter or subscribe to our second channel or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships, links for all of them are in the description below. That join button next to the subscribe button is the YouTube membership stuff. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.